29,000 Palestinians so far have been murdered in the Israel-Hamas war, according to Gaza Health Ministry. I want to be very clear when it comes to this issue. What is happening there is inhumane, and I wish that the Palestinian people get their justice. But that is as far as I can go. That is as far as I can go when it comes to that issue. Now, I don't care whether you hate me. I don't care whether you, you, you love me for saying this, but at the end of the day, I'm still going to say it. My obligation is to African people only. My obligation is to black people globally only. My obligation is not to Palestinians. My obligation is not to any other race in this world. That is one thing you need to understand. Because my people have been catching hell for 400 years and Palestinians have never, ever, ever raised a finger. So don't tell me anything about no Palestinians. My obligation is to the freedom of African people globally, not for the freedom of Palestinians or Ukrainians or, or, or any other group in the world. I am for black people only. That's it. That's it. So, you know, I get so disgusted when I see black people posting the, you know, posting the hashtags of uh, pray for Ukraine, pray for Palestine. Excuse me. When have they ever prayed for us? When have Ukrainians, when has, 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 has Palestinians, when have they ever prayed for us? When have they ever prayed for us black people? When have they ever prayed for Haiti? When have they ever prayed for Congo? When have they ever prayed for Somalia? When have they ever prayed for Ethiopia? When have they ever prayed for any other African group in this world? When have they ever prayed for us? We have been catching hell for 400 years. 400 years. In those 400 years, there was slavery. There was Jim Crow. There was segregation. All those lynchings. In those 400 years, there was colonialism in Africa. There was neocolonialism in Africa. In those 400 years, we have been killed, raped. We have been, I mean, genocide has been done to my community. I mean, we have gone through hell in our community. And we, you know, it's very disturbing that we still have strength. We still have energy to fight for any other race. And those races have never, ever fought for us. It's a shaming. It's a shaming. Who do you think was slave trading Africans even before the white man started doing it? It was Arabs. Who do you think is dehumanizing Africans as we speak in those Arabian countries? Is Arabs. And I know this for a fact. I know what I'm talking about because Kenyans are the ones who are suffering the most in those Arabian countries. So, so please don't tell me anything when it comes to Palestinians. My obligation is to my people and my people only. So when you are praying for Ukraine and for Palestinians, I am busy praying for Haiti. I'm busy praying for Congo, for Somalia, for Ethiopia, for Sudan. And I'm busy praying for the global African family because we are still catching hell 400 years later. Our battles are bigger than any other battle in this world. 
our oppression is more severe than any other form of oppression in this world. So please, my message today to my global African family, to my global black family, mind your business. Mind your damn business. We are so quick and we are so prone to mind other people's business except our own. Mind your business. We have bigger fish to fry. Why are you minding other people's business and our business is more important and more severe than mind your business. African people, black people all over the world, mind your business. Point blank, period.